Fire Radio on High TV, your luxury channel. Today I'm speaking to someone who is like ebony and timeless. I'm very happy to have Asanka Sahabandu. Thank you. Are you born? Thanks for having me. How are you doing today? Not too bad, buddy. Thanks for having me. No, no worries. Asang actually called me and he wrote saying, can we have a discussion about the questions we're going to do? Can we have a <laughs> format for the show? You know, ask such technical questions, which I ignored. And I told him the format is the format that I don't know. That's the formula. Do All right. I must say. So Asang Sahabandu is a man of many talents. Appearing, acting, radio, singing. Uh, he has some things up his sleeve. Let's start off with... Uh, singing you have a hit song that's going to follow you to the grave yeah uh, i hope so <laughs> yeah. there are those songs you know there's always a song that makes an artist and that's your song you have no choice um have you ever now this music world seems to be like competition to the other level and even the music producers yeah you know they have like an entourage and the whole works I think our singers make more money than actors or any other performers. I think so, absolutely. Because yes. uh, the digital rights and Strong. what you could make off of your music from digital platforms became greater than anything else. So that's why people became, or singers became more popular and then producers became more popular mm. because the producer understood that he could own the song and make more money. Yeah, correct. Right? So it started happening, you're right. Yeah, and they have become like the big, big fish. Big now. boys. Big boys. Are you planning on doing any songs? Um, I want to. Recently, there was also a little bit of traction on uh, TikTok for one of my earlier releases. Mm. It started popping up again. You know how it works, oh, right? Oh no! Someone picks it up. You know it really yeah. like. Um, it did kind of remind me that I'm also a singer. I should probably record another song, but uh, again, you must think of. The investment that you need I now. Know. You have to have a the music time. video that's like a movie. You have to have a campaign to launch your song. If not, people are not going to know about it. You know. So, in the end, you just have a song with a nice video, a catchy beat, and it's all for your self-satisfaction. I don't think that... And your wife will listen to it. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you. And me, family. Yeah. yeah. yeah close friends. Close friends. Close yeah. friends song. <laughs> <laughs> Ten views. <laughs> But you never know, TikTok seems to be the place to go. It like is. You create an atrocious dance move and you make people do it. Correct. I think that's one way to look at it. But still, you're looking at heavily promoting your song uh, to get to the level. Because we also, I'm also helping with other artists do this very thing that, that we're talking about, you know, and releasing that whole uh, mega level hit songs. Mm. But still, you're looking at a lot of money, buddy. That is true. A lot of money. Collab is the best thing. Find a rich artist who is willing to spend you sing a yeah. little bit. Sanuka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to do. I mean, you need to find just marry somebody who sings then. Khan, I'm already married, yeah. No, I'm just saying on the side. <laughs> on the side. <laughs> yeah. That's an affair, Danu. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> that can lead to a marriage. Okay. Um, in terms of acting, you of course are very recognizable in Puss Vadil La. How I said it with the accent. Nice, I like it. Yeah. So, how is Puss? I liked, uh, I mean, to go back to Puss, remembering all the good times, it was a blast. Mm. We started, we, we were in the cast when we were just 21, 22 and you know, it I looked like... I thought you were like, just 24 now. Uh, yeah, I know, it's just a few years ago. Yeah. But it was, uh, it was a major, you know, and a fun experience because it was all like-minded people, similar age groups. Mm. Some were from college, some were um, our enemies from other colleges. Other colleges well, yeah. we, we got to hang out and act with them. Really nice. Um, not in Puss anymore uh, because of work and yeah. other commitments. And it also, it's a, it's a commitment as well. It is. Everything it is. seems to be a commitment. It is. It's yeah. a very serious commitment, and I think it's not fair by the other actors that you know you get to. You know, have a say of what time practices would come and happen and that sort of thing. So, but I think the Puss formula was also made in a way that they don't depend on the actor, but the script is strong to Absolutely. have anyone act. Absolutely, and it and it proved itself. So, yeah. um, kudos to you know Feroz and his prowess <laughs> when it comes to uh, you know playwriting. So, I think he did have a hand in creating many stars, like you said. So. Yeah. Actually, that's true. He has created personalities and a lot of people were discovered off stage. Here's something that you don't know. Pharaohs wrote my hit song. No way. How about that? Oh, 
so lyrics by Feroz. Yeah. So what happened was I was cast into Puswedila the DVD as GC Hip Hop Richie or Gus Chuti Hapu Arachi. So then I realized like wow this guy can write songs. So you know this conversation happened uh, and I told him I said yeah can you write a song for me and we sat down and said you know it could be fun like this we could yeah. reference this song that song. Forty minutes later you had a song. Good morning Mala was it. My God. See, you just need 40 minutes to write a song, I think. And a lot of luck, but you know. Ah, that is true. That's, yeah. Takes some time. That is true. That's true. Can I eat one of your fries? I'm very hungry. Anna, yeah, eat. Actually, we are going into a break because I'm going to come back and speak about the fact that he wakes up every day in the morning. I have to ask you, are you on time for the show always? Never. No, no, please don't put that. I'm on time for that. <laughs> you forgot that it was on the record. Yeah, fine. And here, eat the fries. I was just, no, I just, had, like I just had one. I just had one. Just have more, and it's okay. You can actually afford to. We are going to get into a break. I must tell you, there's so many things that are just fabulous at this amazing uh, tea lounge uh, by Dilma. And I must tell you, all these drinks, hmm? it's a kickstart to your morning. All right, we're going to see you after the break. Do stick around. Welcome back to the show. It's uh, Don One Fire, and we're checking out Tea Lounge and Bar by Dilma here at One Go Face. I'm sure while you have like gone live here, you might have come and we sipped did. on a few things here. Uh, we did. We experienced a few uh, goodies, a few goodies, a few drinks. I think we also did an interview of sorts here. Oh, nice, nice place. place. Nice place, definitely. Now I have to tell you, uh, doing a morning show on radio is not an easy task. Because you have five day commitment, it's like a marriage. It's a marriage that even a marriage you can fight and like not talk to somebody. Here you have no choice. You have to also talk. No point. Yeah, and also you, you know, sometimes in marriages you fall in love when you get married. But here you are left with a partner you might have not, you have no choice with. Mm. How is it to be with Dominic? Does he fart and all in front of the studio? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once or twice. Ah, but good. it's been a rather fulfilling experience, let's say. Like you said, I've never thought of radio that way where you're not, you're not selected to do the show with someone. But in our case, uh, we kind of did have a hand in deciding who you're going to be doing the show with. Um, but like you said, it's probably the toughest thing I've ever yeah, done. Yeah, it's a marriage. You know that Dominic might have spent more solid hours with you yeah. than his own wife. Yeah. yeah. It's one of I those. Agree, yeah. yeah. But that five day commitment, now it scares me. I know. I because think it's it's good if it's just five days and we've also have it structured in such a way that we also go out and experience the world, which I think is very, very important, important as as a radio personality to absorb as much of as much experience as you yeah. can out of just everyday things. Correct. Otherwise, you'll be like a frog. Correct. Yeah. In a cubicle, yeah, not in a well. Yeah, that's a sad, sad. Yeah. That's a sad frog. Um, so, so when you travel abroad, or if you have to take a long week off, or like you want to go on a month-long holiday, can you do those? So far, we haven't gone on a month-long. Month, no, that's pushing um, it. Yeah, a holiday in about nine and a half, nine and a half years. That's <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. might come to that, but it all depends. There is technology to host the show from anywhere. Of course, but nobody seems to be using it still. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I think maybe that might be uh, that one of the things. That could be the turning that, point, yeah. But you know Sri Lanka, no? Why did you get an office again? Give on there, Abhi. I must say though, I mean, um, our employer has been rather different mm. than, you know, most employers. And I think that's also partly why the show has succeeded in that is true. such a phenomenal way. Uh, so because there was a dip in radio, especially during COVID. People couldn't be bothered listening to anything. Yeah. And yet to survive through it, it's amazing. Yeah. Now, uh, that just keeps you busy till like 10 o'clock. Mm. After 10, like today, I asked you to come for breakfast and you know, do a show with me. <laughs> yes. On a normal day, what do you do? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there is uh, consultancy work that I'm involved with. A few clients of mine, uh, artists and things like that. So we we have been doing this for the past four years. We've never yeah, what spoken is this about thing it. Thing that you do with artists. So it's a it's a company called the Performance Syndicate Private Limited. Uh, we set this up in order to run campaigns from end to end. So think of it this way: we teach you how to ride the bicycle. We don't sell the bicycle. Right. Okay. So you are just left figuring out where you can buy the bicycle and use it. Uh, for the right money, you. Probably get all the information about ah. what you can get for that. Yeah. So if I pay you enough, you might even pedal with me. <laughs> the thing is with consultancy, it's never going to be a year-long contract. People will say yes, we'll sign you up for this this period. period. But what's going to happen is eventually they're going to figure it out because it's such a simple thing, and they'll be like, wait a minute, why are we paying him so yeah. much? Yeah. Um, so before that happens, it's best for myself and the client to always Art have ways. a set period say six months let's do this here's your strategy follow this if you follow this your numbers would be correct so mostly to do with so marketing. it's always performing artists it could be singers uh, actors. it could be it could be existing uh, you know it could be different products and services as well oh, okay it's not limited to that right yeah. so cool all right so that keeps you busy as well yeah it does that's that's nice yeah, uh, but balancing life, work, but you know, we, we're kind of blessed, right, to do something that we actually love waking up yeah. and doing what we love. Absolutely, have. and I think at times we are not thankful enough, we don't count our blessings. You know, I see a lot of people who say, you know, I wish I, wish I had a job like this. Mm. Um, it's, it's nothing to do with the remuneration, I think it's to do with the life. free time and yeah. the lifestyle it brings. The issue is, there's a lot of hard work that we put into this, which we can't show. Which <laughs> we can't put on Instagram or TikTok, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, 15 years of this is uh, tough. Yeah, you know? true. It's very tough. It takes a toll on you. What did you want to be when you were in school and when you left school I in 2005? <laughs> 2005, when I was in grade 6, uh -huh. I think. <laughs> <laughs> How smart. No? Smart you just got promoted like <laughs> way, like you were just yeah, in grade like, 6 and in 2005 yeah. you did your elements and left. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. all at the same time. They were like, where is this boy coming from? <laughs> what is he eating? Yeah, I've really touching 40, it must be like a, like, like what did you want to be when you were leaving school? <laughs> it is just, you know, just it's a just number. It's just a number, yeah, um, when, not when you colour your beard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because that's blacker than black. But sorry, you know, for, it is, I, for you, I'll do that. Oh, sorry, uh, for you. Ain't the bushes. <laughs> so, in school, I've always wanted to perhaps be involved in entertainment. I think I did more, more singing than acting. In school. And announcing, mm. which probably would have been the start of that being introduced to schools. Because yeah. we come from an era where schools prohibited you from bringing a musical instrument to school. Yeah, I know. We were checked. The bags were checked at the entrance. So now... That is because of the war, okay? Do you know prefects found the TV remote controller in my bag, man? Ani, it so from such. <laughs> from that time, you wanted to control what's on the TV. <laughs> no, by accident. You know, the, you to, when you do your it's exams, terrible. Peters know you also. Terrible, what's that? When you, have to, when you have your exam days, you bring like a small bag, like one of those lotus black bags. You keep like a file and your pen and all just to write the exam and leave kind of situation. I don't know how in the world that happened, but I ended up putting the um, remote control. My God, they thought I was going to bomb the school. Huh? Especially a Tamil boy <laughs> who come from Jaffna. This bug has come for no reason. The prefects were like, what is this? What is this? I'm like, it's a remote. I don't know why it's even here. I actually like cried. You know how these effects are vicious. Terrible. Just bugger when you, especially when you're wearing blue shorts. Terrible. It's their target to abuse. <laughs> were you a prefect? No, I was a prefect. It's too much work when can't be yeah. bothered. It's only yeah. for ugly people. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> no 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 it's not. <laughs> no, I'm no, just no. trying to figure out who, who I know from the prefix. <laughs> Game on! <laughs> no, but I must say like they made me a steward. And the first uh, sports meet, you know, stewards are the ones who become, before you become a prefect, that's mm. like where you have to work like a dog. Yeah. Things have really changed now. Uh, I still remember for one, so that first two months, we, the, I think the school sports meets was happening. 
they made us carry chairs from the fifth floor when there were chairs on the ground floor. And you had to bring it down the stairs and you had to carry two at a time. It is what it is. And I thought to myself, was I actually made to do this? I should be supervising the chairs being arranged. <laughs> Not carrying the chairs. <laughs> That's a very lazy outlook of uh, me. Then I left. Leadership, yeah. <laughs> I left. It was that's it. That was it. That that was it. it I was. guess times have changed now. I think. Yeah, I know. Now of course now. they just take the chairs from downstairs. Actually, chairs are built now. <laughs> built into the eleven location. <laughs> or we need to get into a break. We'll come back with more. I don't know what to talk to you in the third segment, man. I told you, you better have a structure. <laughs> that's <laughs> I a told structure. You. <laughs> a structure. <laughs> Welcome back. It's our final segment. We're checking out some desserts now at this amazing place. I must tell you, you know, he's so cool. He's even wearing a life easy. Look at these jeans that he's on. This might fit you though. <laughs> but you know, at this rate, I might soon go short of people. I might have to speak to these. <laughs> How are you? How stuffed are you? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, my life is quite sad. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll just keep him here. Sure, sure, go ahead. I've had a very difficult childhood, as you can see. <laughs> that's fine. So, uh, Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, that's fine. Um, no, I actually have lots of things to talk to him about, but I wanted to speak to you. How is married life? Good, very good. We've been married for how long now? Nine and a half. It was during your time on radio that... Yeah, I was... No, it was before. Ah, is it? We got married before. We got married in 2014. And just after we got married, I think. Joined radio, and that was a very busy time. Wedding, radio, I was in the band, I was doing all my shows. I had to give up something, so... Yeah. But do you feel like, you know, <laughs> being active out there always is a good thing? Because, you know, in, in the field that we are in, mm. if you're not out there, you're, you go irrelevant. If you're out there too much, you become too common. Mm. It's just a very confusing balance. How do you solve it? I would like to look at it in, in a way where you're not overexposed with anything. Like, for example... Um, I've tried overexposing myself. It was a bad sight. <laughs> um, I've done TV series, I've done like post uh, I've tried to limit it to maybe a few things mm -hmm. where you probably go wrong with it, where people would probably go wrong with it is that they don't know how to maximize that opportunity. So even when I do a campaign, I don't just take up the appearin appearing cost or the yeah. cost charge for appearances. I would go on to do their corporate voice, I would go on to do write their script for mm -hmm. Maybe so other things. Full package. It has to be that. If yeah. not, who to know you get another opportunity? Mm. Uh, you know, sometimes people see you and go, "Oh, wait a minute, why didn't we think of that?" Yeah, and also there's an opportunity cost. Absolutely. Because after you on it, you ain't gonna get like a like for example, we ain't gonna tea brand if I'm going to uh, endorse Dilma. What do you tell these artists who are coming forward? Because everyone is so eager, because everyone is caught up in this world called social media and this social media world looks wonderful. Pictures you put up, you get likes and mm. you're like, oh, I could... But in the real world, it's very different because when you got into music and all, it was the real world. Yeah, it, it was. It depends so much on that. It was. I think number one thing that they should do is be real, be true. I know this sounds very cliche, but you have to understand who you are and what your career is. A musician's career or a singer or performer's career can be compared to that of an athlete or a cricketer. Maximum 15 years of peak performance and then it's either you being a, an, a, an official, a coach. So you have to set your... All of that pays. These don't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's why I say, like, for example, if you are a pianist and you're part of a band, um, learn, that, learn that art and be proficient in it so that when the band gigs run dry, you could have your own class. Mm. Then have your own academy. Correct. Then run your own choir. Then have your own concert. Think of a longer plan because musicians don't have EPF, ETF, 
of funds to fall back on i'm sorry to you know make this very serious but, but it's obvious it is the truth you know we all we all dress nice you know we eat nice food we go to nice places soon or later this is going to run dry and you know what's going to happen you're going to look at the newer generation and you're you're going to get angry with them you're going to scold them on facebook you're going to say this person is not singing you're just going to be a bitter diva it is what it is so that's yeah. why you don't see i don't get die into arguments with new artists i don't have to i have set you have your own path and you uh-huh. are you have your own place which i'm sure you do too as well it's yeah i'm so looking at obesity as an option okay. is it is that a university <laughs> <laughs> uh, obesity university <laughs> You can enroll <laughs> as an entry level yeah. student. Thanks. <laughs> That's an option I'm looking at. Uh, but uh, when you were in school, did you think you have a funny bone? Mm, I. Or was your bone funny? Yeah, I had a funny bone. <laughs> I did. We did repeat a lot of jokes. Like you would hear. Like yeah, of course. You know the. You have a stock you now of five jokes. Yeah. That you have to throw wherever yeah. you go. New so, people means you throw it. That happened in school, and you know the singing during the interval, and this whole thing becoming a huge entertainment related thing. Because I used to sneak out uh. from class, and go, go to two or three batches junior to me. when they were in the music class so who's in the music class we were, apparently everybody thought we are the same batch uh. myself lantra and kushal in school <laughs> so it was ha ah, you all are from the same class uh. yeah 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 so one whole hour of singing mm. and playing the merry devil so we did all of those things but lots of fun but you know when you sit back and think it's been so long since we left school but we're equally mad as we were before absolutely yeah absolutely it takes a lot to continue the madness Did you, at one point, think that you'll be into in people and you'll be in showbiz like you no, are? No, have you seen me? Only my mother could love me. I was just I I was a blob with a head. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I couldn't. I was so shy to even speak to people. That's why I don't even know you in school. Yeah. I was well, so shy. I was an innocent one. I know? didn't talk to a lot of people either in school. Ah, you were pompous then. No, I just it was it was what it is. <laughs> anyway, try this. Oh yeah, I love the color. That's why. It's like I'm eating a piece of bun. <laughs> Puss with the official color. Ah, yes, yeah, true. You have your own carrot cake. Don't look at mine. All right. On that note, we need to wrap things up. Do you want to tell anything before you go? Because ah, uh, thank you, Danu, for having me. That's it. Thanks. Have we covered everything that's interesting in your life? Yes. Um, because we didn't, I didn't get to. run this mm. interview through the proper structure i guess i'll have to be happy with this <laughs> this is quite structured no oh, i'm joking yeah i know mm. as if you all structure everything you all are doing i've heard you all on air <laughs> sometimes you're not even there in the studio we do a recorded version <laughs> all right on that note we're wrapping up this purple cake is yummy we'll see you soon thank you dilma for hosting us once again We will see you soon.